हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल पर एग्जांपल कर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट फॉर इच लूप इन एलडब्ल्यूसी आर लाइटनिंग वेब कंपोनेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट अनदर टाइप ऑफ लूप दैट इज इटरेटर लूप इन लाइटनिंग वेब कंपोनेंट सो बेसिकली फॉर इच लूप एंड इटरेटर लूप बोथ आर द लूपिंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर लूपिंग कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर दे बोथ आर यूज्ड फॉर लूपिंग नाउ सी टू इंप्लीमेंट इटरेटर लूप इन लाइटनिंग वेब कंपोनेंट्स we have to use template directive iterator colon iterator name so see when in last video we have seen when we have implemented for each loop there we have used two template directive right for colon each and for colon item right but here in iterator loop we have only one template directive that is iterator colon iterator name so basically this template directive is combination of that two directives that we have used in for each loop now see iterator loop in lwc has some special property here you can see iterator name dot value so from where we got iterator name so see here when we define iterator directive so see iterator colon iterator name so any variable name any name you can take for example variable var abc something like that so this is the name that we have given but this is fixed right we have to use iterator only and this we can change okay it's up to us so what are the name that we have given to this iterator by using that we can use this property so see first property value so from name only we will come to know it returns value of the property and how it can be used so see iterator name dot value and dot property name so by that we will get value of that particular property so we will see one simple example and from that it will be clear then next two properties are very important because these two properties are not available in for each loop so see it returns boolean value both iterator name dot first and iterator name dot last so dot first and dot last both returns boolean value that means it returns true or false so when it returns true when it is the first iteration or when we are working on the first record then it returns true otherwise it returns false and when it is the last iteration or when it is last record then it returns true otherwise it returns false okay so what we will do we will see one example and from that it will be very clear now see in last example we have seen for each loop right and by using that for each loop we have fetched these values right we have printed this table now see what we will do same table we will print by using iterator loop so from where we got this value so we got these values from the list right we have defined one list and from that we have fetched this value right so this example we have seen in for each loop same example we will see for the iterator loop and we will try to get same output okay now see here we have vs code okay we have to right click on lwc we will create one component so see we will create lightning web component we will give some name iterator loop something like this we will keep default directory okay so see by that we got one html file one dot js file and one js dash meta dot xml file okay now see this is our javascript file right now see here within this curly bracket we are writing code so what we will do we will create one list so same list we will create whatever the list that we have created in previous video in previous example so see in our for each loop example same list will copy so see we have created this employee list right so same list will copy will put here okay now see here we have three records right this is first record then this is second record and this is third record right so basically there are three records in this list right now see these records we will fetch by using iterator loop we will save our code by control s okay now see for html we will write code okay now see within this template we will write code so we have to create lightning card so see lightning dash card okay now see within this we have to use template directive right so see for that we will use this tag 
right now see we have to use this directive right iterator directive this we have to use right okay so see here we will mention iterator right now see colon and iterator name so any name you can give for example here i am giving emp right so in previous video we have used for colon item is equal to emp right emp that variable we have used there so same variable here we are using iterator colon emp is equal to in curly bracket we have to mention list list name so our list name is employee list right okay now see once it is done we have to fetch values so see here in curly bracket we will write emp so this variable emp dot so emp is iterator variable right iterator name emp dot value this property we have to use see here we have seen iterator name dot value so this is used to fetch value from the property okay so see emp dot value and whatever the properties that we have defined here so see in this employee list what property we have defined f name l name age city right these properties we have defined in this list same properties we will use okay so see f name emp dot value dot l name again in curly bracket emp dot value dot age again in curly bracket emp dot value dot city right so these are four properties so those four properties here we are printing so see here we have used template tag and here we are using template directive iterator iterator name this is list right and these are the properties right okay so we will save it okay now see one more important thing so in meta.xml file here we will make it true so that this component can be used as a standalone component okay then here we have to mention targets here we will mention target lightning underscore app page again one more target we will add lightning underscore home page okay we will save it okay once it is done now we will deploy it so iterator loop right click on this deploy source to org okay so our component got deployed right okay now see this is our service app here we have gear icon click on this here we have edit page so lightning app builder page is open scroll down here we have iterator loop okay so we will drag and drop okay so here we will keep okay so we have drag and drop this component right now we will save it we will click on back button okay so see this is the result that we got from the for each component and this result we got from the iterator loop right now see we will make such table okay so see so see in html code here we will add table tag table here we will put closing tag T head tag. Here we will add TR tag TD first name TD last name TD age TD city for table we will use some predefined classes so see class is equal to slds dash table slds 
डैश टेबल अंडर स्कोर बॉर्डर ओके सो दीज आर सो एस एल एस मीन्स सेल्फोर्स लाइटिंग डिजाइन सिस्टम एंड दीज आर प्री डिफाइंड क्लासेस प्री डिफाइंड सी एस एस क्लासेस प्रोवाइडेड बाय द सेल्फोर्स ओके सो ऑलरेडी इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हाउ सीन हाउ टू यूज दिस प्री डिफाइंड क्लासेस ओके नाउ सी स्कूल डाउन एंड हियर ऑल्सो वील यूज टी आर एंड टी डी टैग सो सी टी आर टैग now closing tr tag here i am putting now see here it is showing some error missing key for element tr inside of iterator right so basically here we have to mention key which will uniquely identify this record so see here we will add one attribute key is equal to and here we have to add emp dot value dot id so see we will take some variable Are some property as a key, so we will mention in curly bracket like this, right? Okay. Now see for this, we will use td tag. This closing td tag here we will put, right? Okay. So I have saved this code. now again we will deploy it deploy source to org okay we will refresh this okay so it is taking time one more time we will refresh it so now you can see this table is printed by iterator loop and this table is printed by for each loop right both are looking same right so we can use iterator loop and for each loop for the same purpose right both are used for the same purpose now see for iterator loop there is some advantage so see already we have seen for iterator loop there are some special property for example see first and last so first will return true if it is first record or if it is a first iteration and last will returns true if it is last record or last iteration so see that we will use now see in this example suppose if we want to make sure or suppose if we want to print first record only so see here we will add one condition so see template closing template we will put here after tr right now see in this template so already we have seen conditional statement conditional rendering in salesforce or in lwc right so how to use it so see in template here we'll write if true is equal to here see emp dot first what is the meaning of this this will return true if this is the first record right and if this is the first record then only we will print otherwise we will not print so see i'm saving it okay now we will upload it we will deploy it okay we'll refresh one more time we will refresh so here you can see only first record is shown see there are three records right and only first record is shown here now see here if instead of first if i make it last see we will save it and again we will deploy so see i will right click here from here also we can deploy so see okay we will refresh it one more time we will refresh so here you can see see there are three records right and yogesh and ye this is the last record so only last record is printed here right only last record is shown here right so this is how we can use first and last property and suppose if we want to print both first and last so see first and what we will do will copy this and here will paste it okay so this is for first and this is for last so see by this we will print first record and by this we will print last record so see if it is first record then it will return true 
and if it is true and here also we have mentioned true both are matching that's why within this template tag this will get run this will get executed same case is here right here we have mentioned emp dot last so this will return true if it is last record right here also we have mentioned true and this is also true in that case both are matching right so in that case this part will be executed right this part will be shown on the screen right okay so i am saving it we will deploy this code okay we will refresh it one more time we will refresh okay now you can see first record and last record see first record and last record right here you can see first record and last record so how we have printed first record and last record by using iterator loop properties right here we have used this property first and last right so in this way we can use iterator loop in lightning web components so friends i hope you like this video if is yes, then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you